Just an all new at 11, a local man thrown in jail, spending several nights behind bars for a crime he did not commit. That man put in handcuffs by Tampa police for a warrant out of New York City. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomone getting to the bottom of this wrongful arrest tonight. She's live for us at the jail. Julie. And Wendy, that man told me he's never been to New York City. He had no idea what that warrant could be about, and he ended up spending about three days here at the Hillsborough County Jail. Lavonza Smith says officers arrested him Saturday night, giving him little details, only saying he was going to jail because of a warrant out of New York City. I ain't never been to New York, so how did I have a warrant in New York? But it was like, it was, it was, I was terrified. Smith called police Saturday after being involved in a minor traffic crash in Tampa. Documents from Tampa police say Smith gave officers his license and social security number. Officers then validated a warrant issued in November of 2011 by the New York police for dangerous drugs. That's the first time I heard the charge that you actually telling me. I just know it was, a, it, was a, it was a fugitive warrant. That's all I knew. Smith spent nearly three days at the Hillsborough County Jail, later being released. Records state it was an improper arrest. Smith says during those days, he did not have access to medications he needs after having heart surgery earlier this year. I was totally scared because of my health situation. And I was sitting in a cell without my medication for three days. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me it is investigating Smith's claims, adding when someone is booked on an out-of-state warrant, the defendant's information, including fingerprints, is sent to the out-of-state agency. Officials here must wait on verification. They left me puzzled. They left me without any explanation, no, no answers to any of my questions. And the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is working on getting me additional details tomorrow on exactly how all of this happened. Reporting live in Hillsborough County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.